Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, I did a beer review last night. I have not been doing beer reviews for a very long time, and uh, I want to get back into it. Uh, not because I'm a raging alcoholic, but, well, well, that's up for debate. But uh, I just really like beer, and I like good beers, and I like some, you know, some beers and opinions by other people that are not so good. I don't jump on board. I'm not like one of the, the people that are obsessed with, like, being cool. Uh, if I like something, I like it, and I'll tell you I like it. Even if it's uncool to like it, I'll tell you. Got to have honesty in reviews. All right, so let's check out the beer we have here. We have Mississippi Mud, a uh, famous slow-brewed black and tan porter and pilsner beer. Comes in a quart uh, bottle, not like a quart, yo. I don't really don't know how to gang sign, so uh, I'm not even going to attempt it. Uh, <laughs> It says in the back here, it says, Dating back to the 18th century, the custom of blending pale and dark beers has been kept. The black and tan, a favorite of experienced beer drinkers for centuries, our famous recipe combines a robust classic porter with a fine continental pilsner, preserving the character of each while creating the classic taste of the legendary black and tan. In true American style, we bring the best of both beers as they meet in the Mississippi mud. But here's the strange thing about it. It says down here, let me look way down in the corner, Mississippi Brewing Company, produced by Mississippi, Mississippi Brewing Company, Utica, New York. <laughs> so it's made in New York. It's not made in uh, Mississippi. But all that aside, uh, let's try it out. This is one of the, my favorite beers got a lot of favorite beers. Like I said, uh, the, the Raging Alcoholic is up for debate, kind of, sort of, but um, these bottles are so neat. Uh, they make really cool, like, decorations for the house. And I know that's like a douchebag thing to, to have, like, bottles in your house decorating them. I'm not talking, like, absolute bottles and, like, whiskey bottles, like, hey, you like the decor of my rum shack? No, nothing like that. This is this would be a neat little accent piece like to put up on a shelf, and I actually keep it on top of my gun rack. So enough of me fucking rambling here. Let's. It's a twist top. Open it up, and this is like a this is a lot of beer. Uh, well, not like a lot of beer. Like you're gonna like be stumbling drunk, but when you want a beer, and you know one's just not gonna do it. This is the way I go. All right, look at that bad boy. It smells, uh, it smells like Guinness, and it smells like a combination of Guinness and uh, Killigan's Red mixed together. So let's try it out. That's a good beer, man. Sometimes Guinness is a little too rough. Uh, this is a nice combination. Uh, a lot of times you'll see people make black and tans, and what they'll do is they'll take Guinness and they uh, take a harp or bass ale and they pour it in the glass with a spoon and it separates. And that would be the black and tan. Uh, there's two different levels of color. Uh, but, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm not, I don't get into that. You know, I care less if there's two different layers. Uh, I just like the beer. I like black and tans. Um, as long as we're not being cool, and that's like one of my specialties of not being cool, uh, flashlights. That Phoenix E1 that I had uh, for like a year, I gotta tell you, was the most undependable flashlight I've ever had. Um, every time I would want to use it, the batteries would be dead. It would turn on in my pocket, and uh, when I wanted to use it, it didn't work. And of course, during the, uh, the, the pre-hurricane, it didn't work. And I, I would constantly throw batteries in the thing. It would never work. So I was out and about today, and I was going to get a flashlight. I, that was my mission of the day, was to go out and get a flashlight. So this is what I picked up. Um, and like I said, I'm not like, how many million lumens you got there? And uh, d if you don't spend $350,000 on a flashlight, you're not cool. Like I said, I really don't care about being cool. All I want to do is work, and uh, I'll tell you about what I bought. And what I bought here was a what I bought here was a Craftsman flashlight from Sears. Um, 
the color has a little bit to be desired, but I'm going to explain the color in a minute. Uh, when I split and left here because of the storm, I put my flashlight on the counter, and when I got dark, I couldn't find it. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm a jackass, but <laughs> at least I, I, I recognize it. Uh, so I got a red one here. It has a little lanyard um, piece in the back, but it's kind of cheesy. It has jimping for all you jimping nerds. Um, it has a little rubber textured, almost like a, a, a inner tube um, with jimping on it. <laughs> jimping nerds. Uh, and then you have some more up front. And it takes two AA batteries. And it's got, um, I believe you call it a fisheye in the front. It's a magnifying glass that magnifies the LED. Um, you turn it, you twist it to uh, turn it on. I'll give you a little blast there, but it's neat. It, ha it it projects a beam, and you don't see the beam blasting through the air, but it makes this freakish, um, it almost looks like an old-time black-and-white TV uh, on the wall. It's actually really neat, and I paid $14 for this. Like I said, I'm not... In my lifetime, I will never spend $350 on a flashlight. That'll just never happen. Um, no, it's, it's not. No, it would never happen. And I'm actually, I'm pretty satisfied. It's got a. Uh, it says the the battery will last forever. Gotta love that forever. Never needs replacing. Um, it comes with a one year warranty. I just recall forever being longer than one year. I I don't know. Maybe you know. I just I was sleeping in math or something. But. Uh, I like the way it feels. It's a cool flashlight. It's kind of big, and it comes with this groovy uh, carrying case. And the thing I like about the carrying case is it's not stitched, so there's not like a cheesy little scrap in the back, so after like a month of flopping around, it'll loosen up, the flashlight will fall off, and it'll eventually snap off, and you'll leave it in a parking lot. This is connected right to the, uh, the sheath. We'll call it a sheath. So... These are some of the things I picked up today. I picked up, obviously, I have a couple of days off because of the storm. My restaurant is on, on the water, so uh, it's like a duck's bathtub now. And uh, we might open up on Monday, but who knows? You know, I, well, a nice unpaid vacation. Those are like the worst kind of vacations. You want a vacation because you've been busting your ass all year, but you want to get paid for it. You want to be like, hey, what's up? I'm broke. <laughs> you know? So uh, hopefully this was informative, and hopefully. Um, You'll try this beer. I, I, you can try the flashlight if you want to, but that wasn't the main reason I did the video. I did the video for the beer, man. I did it for the beer, and I did it for you guys. All right, later.